Um, so problem set three talks about getters and setters, and uh, I guess we'll talk about getters first. Um, so in our class point, coming back to this example class point, uh, we set our instance variables to private. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about why. Um, so one of the reasons why, um, well, what is it mean to be private? Right. Well, what that means is you cannot access that instance variable out here in the main, right? So where you're like using the class, you cannot use it. So if I say like p.x is equal to 10, um, I could not do that, right? So it's a private access, uh, has private access in point. Um, and so we've kind of went over this in the Python class. Um, the reason for private is so that uh, the adjustment of x, like, so what is a what is a class? A class is a set of variables, right? Um, describes a set of variables and also has associate, associated methods. And what are the purpose of those associated methods? Are to modify the values of those instance variables. So like here for point, um, we have x and y, right? Um, and then uh, a modifying like uh, a modifying method might be like reverse x, right? So you like m like flip the sign of the x or reverse y, you flip the sign of the y. Um, I guess I can't really think of a good example here for point, but what about if this class was not point but it was circle, right? So you would have an x and a y, and you would also have a maybe a int or double radius, right? Um, so if this was public and I could access it over here in the in the class in the yeah in the file that is creating the object of type point then I could say p dot radius is equal to negative 10 right but that's not legit that's not valid there is no negative radius right or a negative area or something like that right so um, making it private ensures the validity of your um, of your object the objects that are created of this class okay um, so then if I did have some kind of a method called set radius right it would take in an argument and then it would have error checking right it would say like uh, if X is less than zero then like print out an error message Right, something like that. So then setting these instance variables to private ensures that their setting and then their um, modifying um, their adjustments follow the rules that you determine here, right? That make sure that the valid that the data is going to be valid. Um, okay, so then now we're talking about getters, right? Well, since our instance variables should be private, Right, and of course there are going to be instances where you want you say, "Hey, man, I want this guy to be public." Right, so you make it public. But for our intensive, all intensive purposes, we're going to make all of our instance variables private. And uh, because they're private, what about if you wanted to get just x on our point? Right, you just wanted to like see what x is. Um, well, you would need to run two string, and two string gives you x and y. Right, but I don't want x and y. I just want x. Right. So how can I do that? Well, you need to create a getter method. Okay. And what is a getter method? Well, maybe we can make one right here. We'll say public uh, int is the return value, and we're going to call it get x. And what it's going to do is it's simply going to return x. Okay. So then when I'm over here and I want to say, hey, what happens if I add a hundred to my x, right? Or if I triple my x, what, what's that going to be? Well, I could do system dot out dot print line, and then I could do print out three times p dot get x. And then if I compile that, and then I come over here and I run it, it's going to print out twelve, which is what four times three. Um, so that's what a getter is. It just gets an instance variable and returns it. Right? So um, when you're like when you first are in, like encountering all these different like naming conventions and uh, you know the way that you create a class, you might be thinking, "Oh my gosh, what is going on here?" Right? Um, and you probably thought that in elementary school too, like in kindergarten when they started to. Um, explain the ABCs, right? You're like, what is going on? I don't understand. Like, 
how are you taking these lines and making them sounds and how do you know which sound goes after the other sound and you know so it's all a bit of confusion um so what i'm saying is basically like the way that you write your name at the top of every piece of homework the name the date and the class and the period uh, the name yeah the name date the class and the period this these are things that you need to do f every time you create a class in java okay so you need to have your class name up at the top you need to have your instance variables here you need to have your constructors or constructor you need to have your two string right so this is just automatic like right away when someone tells you you know make a class a class uh, table right well okay well how high is my table gonna be how wide is it gonna be what instance variables do I need um, write my zero argument constructor okay what value should I default these instance variables to write my argument constructor okay I'll take in my arguments and set all my instance variables equal to the values of those arguments I'm gonna write my two string right away I'm gonna return all of the instance variables in a user-friendly format right and then I'm gonna write all my getters and then eventually we're gonna talk about setters and you're gonna write all your setters right and so what are getters they're going to get each of the instance variables so I have get X and then I will do the same thing with get Y right and so again to sum it up why do we need to do this because since we set it to private um, only class methods um, have access to the instance variables and can do something like this like return X right um, and since these methods are public that means we can get those instance variables but only via the getters